Kia koutou katoa, this is InfoGen, where we stop and update you on news and info from the past week. Leading news this week, a new virtual reality attraction has opened on Auckland Sky Tower. It offers users a computer-generated slide around the building traveling at a virtual speed of 160 kilometers an hour. Customers use a VR headset up the tower 186 meters above street level before being virtually whizzed around the tower with 360 degree views. The attraction is known as Sky Slide. It joins other recent additions at the Sky City Complex such as the All Blacks Experience and Weta Workshop Unleashed. Sky City's Chief Operating Officer Callum Mallett said Sky Slide has been in the planning for a number of years. The Sky City website is taking bookings for SkySlide from $40 for adults and $28 for children aged 10 to 14. Those costs include Sky Tower admission. In world news, singer Justin Bieber has revealed he is suffering from facial paralysis and has had to cancel his shows this week. The 28-year-old said in an Instagram video that the condition is due to a diagnosis of Ramsey-Hunt syndrome. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is when a shingles outbreak affects the facial nerve near someone's ears. Earlier this week, Beaver's Justice World Tour, which began in February, announced three shows would be postponed. Beaver smiled and blinked, showing his 240 million followers how the right side of his face did not move. He added that he's been doing facial exercises to get back to normal, but that he does not know how long it will take to recover. He had been due to play in Washington DC and Toronto earlier this week, with concerts also planned in New York and Los Angeles in the coming weeks. From the Otsta file, two American workers have been rescued after getting trapped in a large tank of chocolate. The two people got trapped in the waist-deep chocolate tank at the Mars Wrigley plant in Elizabethtown. Crews were called to the plant at around 2 p.m. after the workers became trapped. Rescue workers were able to get the pair out by cutting a hole in the side of the tank. The two were apparently not badly hurt at the time, but they were still taken to hospital. Mars Wrigley didn't immediately comment on the situation. In sports, this central pulse are the 2022 ANZ Premiership winners. The pulse shocked the favoured Northern Stars and Wellington with a stunning 56-37 win. With the 19-goal win, the pulse became the first franchise to win three titles in the history of the Elite National League, which started in 2017. The pulse led from start to finish, up by 26-15 at the half time. The scoreline then extended to 42-26 after three quarters. One of many standouts for the home side was goal shooter Alia Dunn, who scored 44 goals from 47 attempts. However, credit must go to Pulse coach Yvette McCausland Jury, who was taking part in her fifth grand final. She took over the team this year after a disappointing 2021. Our pop culture topic this week is all about a giant chicken nugget. Two social media stars have claimed the record for the world's largest chicken nugget, which is said to be 115 times larger than a normal sized nugget. Former MasterChef finalist Nick DiGiovanni and Cooking with Linja's Lynn Davis collaborated together on the project and successfully earned a Guinness World Record for the world's largest chicken nugget. The nugget, which was made out of 40 pounds of brown chicken and 40 eggs, among other ingredients, weighed over 20 kgs. It was so big they had to get creative and build a contraption to help it bake. The project also required a lot of practicing to get it just right, with some test runs in a home oven taking 12 hours to cook. The pair have been worked together before when they set another record in November of 2021 for the world's largest cake pop. Finally, the value of the week this week is still kindness. Remember, kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous and considerate. There are times where we can feel stuck in negative environments, and in these times, it's helpful to show kindness to those around us. When somewhere has a negative culture, showing kindness to those around you can make a positive difference. We can show kindness by listening actively, acknowledging others' needs, communicating positively, and celebrating qualities that we see in others. And a huge shout out to Shirley Intermediate in Christchurch. Have an awesome day, team. Stay cool. Well, that's it for this week's Info Jam. If you want to know more about these stories and others like them, make sure you have a look around kiwikidsnews.co.nz and remember to tune in next week for our next Info Jam. Ka kite anō.